Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. So today I'm gonna to show you, I just found reishi mushrooms in my garden. Check this out. You know, I'm always walking the land and I'm always looking for medicinal mushrooms, different mushrooms, just different things that grow on my land. It doesn't have to be mushrooms, anything. Uh, and reishi mushrooms are one of the things that I have always been on the eye, on the lookout for, especially recently, because I know they're such a, beneficial medicinal mushroom. It's a polypore and like other polypore mushrooms like turkey tail and some others it produces an amazing medicinal benefit. And so uh, I've walked this land and I'm always keeping an eye out for them. They're pretty easy to identify. They're a red uh, shelf type mushroom. They're very shiny on top and they're polypores. So on the underside there's millions of little pores under, underneath, the, underneath the mushroom. And so uh, pretty easy to identify, not that hard. And I've never been able to find one um, until today. And it was right under my nose the whole time. And I'm really upset at myself for not having seen it earlier and harvesting it earlier. Oh my gosh. Uh, they're a little bit old. It's, it's almost January right now. And so they're a little bit old and I don't even know if they're still good or not, but let's take a look at them. So we're in my garden of all places and wouldn't you know it, in my garden, uh, a number of years ago, I cut down this persimmon tree. It was a pretty big persimmon tree. I lopped it off. We cut it down here and out of the old persimmon tree, persimmon trees are really notorious for when you cut one down, chances are it'll grow, start to grow again out of the cut. And that's what this one did. And I've kind of just kept it trim. Um, eventually I'm going to take it all down. Well, I came over today and I was looking at it uh, as I was passing by the, the fence of my garden. And I'm like, holy moly. Look at that, that's reishi mushroom, right on the stump of a, an old persimmon tree that I had cut down years ago. And it grew there this whole, this last year, you know, it was probably amazingly fresh just a few months ago. And now because of the cold weather setting in and rains coming in, the fall rains, winter rains, it's just kind of deteriorated. But there they are, gigantic reishi mushrooms. I'm gonna give you a closer look, but, uh, right there under my nose in my garden of all places for it to grow. I didn't even notice it. Good grief. Of the many mushrooms in the mushroom world, this is one of the most sought after of all mushrooms because of its medicinal properties. Again, it has a reddish hue. You can see the red. Let me give you a closer look at that. You can see the kind of reddish hue that it has on there. And um, it's normally when it's fresh, these, these tops are very slick and almost shiny looking like they're wet. Uh, obviously, this is, this is much older, and so it doesn't really have that anymore. Uh, but the telltale sign that you know you found Rishi is on the underside, where you can see all of the millions of different polypores, the pores, that's why they call it a polypore, the millions of pores on the underside. And it's just taken over this entire stump around the front, around the back. I mean, just everywhere. I've pulled some of these off. Some of them I'm still pulling out. Um, but look, at I mean, just everywhere, mushrooms. Um, I can't believe, I mean, and right now, you know, because I've learned so much about the medicinal benefits of this amazing mushroom that I've been looking for turkey tails and reishi and uh, chicken of the woods and all these different medicinal mushrooms that are so good for you uh, to make teas out of and things like that, that uh, to miss this, oh, it hurts, but it hurts bad. So let me give you a closer look at the polypores. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know if you can see that right there, all the millions of pores you can kind of hopefully you can kind of see that all those little tiny dots those are little tiny pores that's how you you can determine a polypore from other different mushrooms um, a lot of these different mushrooms will have fins on under the on the underside or they'll have larger pores uh, but the polypore is just millions of tiny pores and so obviously on the top it's got this reddish hue and um, when these are fresh they will appear shiny and I mean, they're not edible at all. And that's because they're just too tough. Um, but what people normally do with these is they basically break them up into little pieces or cut them up into little pieces and then uh, make tea out of them. They boil them to get all the medicinals out. Now with a, with a reishi mushroom this old, I, I, don't, I don't know, maybe someone more experienced can tell me, I don't know if you'll get any medicinal value out of this. I mean, I would think it probably still has some medicinal value, but there's also some mold growing on the underside on some of these. There's some mold growing on the top, like this one here. Let me get this one out for you. This one, you can kind of see there's some mold growing on the top of it. Um, you know, I don't know if I'd want to make a tea out of that, but man, to miss this, oh, it's, it, it's painful. There's just so many on this thing. But look how, 
Look how big that is. That's a gigantic reishi. I mean, you know, people, I guess people who experiment with medicinal mushrooms are always trying to find, find the best trees to grow them on. I would say that you should probably experiment with persimmon trees. I'm just saying, look how big that is. Now, I have ordered some mycelium on the internet for growing reishis, and I'm gonna to try to uh, inoculate some uh, white oaks this year, um, this spring, with some reishi mushrooms to grow them here on the homestead. But I think I, instead, I may try to find some of the largest persimmons that we have and grow them out of the persimmon tree because obviously it likes the persimmon. Look at that. That's huge. That is one huge reishi, and that's just not all of it. Let me get the other one. Here's a couple more from, here's a couple more from the backside. Uh, just huge reishi mushrooms out of this one stump, one stump. Goodness gracious. I would have hit the jackpot had I checked this about two or three months ago. Polypore mushrooms like turkey tail and reishi mushroom and some others have had so many numerous studies now done on them. You know, the medical community, the alternative medical community knows that these are a cure for cancer. They know that they're cures for other ailments. So many reasons to be using medicinal mushrooms like the reishi and um, other polypores. And so it's the polysaccharides that are in them. Uh, they're just amazing at curing different types of illness. And so uh, if you want to do more research on that, I would highly encourage you. If you know someone who has cancer, I would highly encourage you to start doing research on turkey tail mushrooms, reishi mushrooms, and different mushrooms like that. The, the top medicinal mushrooms. So um, you don't have to, oh, man, I tell you what, chemotherapy kills way more people than cancer. This is the cure for cancer. I, you know, I'm saying it right now. And, you know, people might take offense to that. They may not believe it, but go do your own research. Look at the overwhelming amount of research today on polypore, polysaccharides, uh, these type of medicinal mushrooms. Amazing uh, what they can do for your body. And so uh, the reason I've been looking out for these things, many of you know my, my younger son um, was in a bike accident, his little bicycle accident that he had a few months back, and he spent a week in the ICU and had to get his spleen removed. So his immune system is compromised. And so what, we've been looking for different ways to boost his immune system. Um, when we first got him home from the hospital, he would be hit by the, a cold or you know flu, mostly cold-like symptoms, a lot harder than most people would. And so um, we've started him on turkey tails and you know turkey tail tea and reishi tea and other things that we've ordered online. And we've even harvested a number of turkey tails here on our homestead. Um, and we have seen an amazing improvement in his health um, just from that. And so um, the spleen, if you didn't know, will actually grow back over time. And we believe that giving some of these things is gonna boost his immune system and even allow his, um, his body to hopefully regrow his spleen so that it can be, uh, again, active in his body. Uh, so amazing science and all that. And our, our, our official medical and science community is a completely oblivious and turns a blind eye to natural medicines and the benefit they can provide. So keep an eye out for this mushroom. It's the reishi. I mean, I can't believe I missed this. I'm so angry at myself. Ugh. And it was right under my nose in my garden. Ugh, crazy. All right, guys, we'll leave it at that. See you next time with the homestead.